are quite good. Attack warning. Attack warning. Attack warning. Is it for real? Attack warnings for bloody real. Live from Colorado Springs, the Drop Culture Podcast. I want to confirm, is this an exercise? Roger, copy. This is not an exercise. Come on, put it down. One, two, three. Welcome back, everybody, to the Drop Culture Podcast Quick Cast. My name is Brock. I was asking you for a cue because I don't. I was even, like, what just I, happened? I don't even remember my name. <laughs> uh, Brock. My You're name. Brock. Is, my name is Brock, and across the table for, from me, as always, for these Quick Casts and all of the Drop Culture Podcast. True. Oh, Dan. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> See, we're forgetting even before we start. <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> this is our quick cast, which we've kind of been a little bit more regular here lately. It's yeah. just us talking about nothing. Yeah, and whatever we want to talk about, really. It's the Seinfeld podcast. <laughs> it's absolutely nothing about nothing. That's right, except not New York centric. Yeah, and always about movies. So <laughs> and other stuff. Yeah, and yeah. cool stuff. Yeah, just whatever. What else? So um, <laughs> it's been a couple of weeks. What's been going on? Oh, I've been traveling, my friend. I yeah. I was in. Oh boy, I'm not even gonna get into it, dude. Um, but you did, the, you did like it's like a Route 66 song, or like it, I've been everywhere, <laughs> dude. It's been insane. Like the last few weeks, it's been like I get home, do laundry till 12:30, then get on a plane, and then come back, get off a plane, do laundry till 12:30, so I can get on a plane the next day. Damn. Like it's been nuts. Do you think that that's like? Sustainable? No. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it's like wearing on you right now? Oh, Cause, for sure. Because you've been doing it for yeah, a little yeah. while. Yeah. Like, I, I feel also like my fuse is maybe a little shorter, you know? And, yeah. and don't get me wrong, like, I'm it still happens. nice to everybody. Yeah. But, like, internally, my fuse is like, I'm like, I'm just going to walk away for a minute, you know? <laughs> You're just ready for the explosion <laughs> or a break. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's either really... one. So you got to, so, so it's like, what's going to come first? Yeah. You know, and then you got to think about your obligations. You're like, fuck, what do I got to do? Oh, shit. I got to do this. I got to make sure this is fucking going. <laughs> So well, there's so many things. In the middle of two of my trips, we took another trip to California um, for a wedding for my wife's family. And that was super cool. We had a great time, like the Temecula uh, area. They were in Fallbrook. And then like the last couple days, it was just me and my wife at Ocean Beach, like 500 feet from the beach. Nice. And uh, that was some nice chill out time. But then as soon as we got back, I had to do laundry till 1230 at night and then get on a plane <laughs> to go to Billings, Montana the next day. You know, so it's like, even though that was really cool break. Yeah. Like yeah. it never stops. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that's, that's like a. The, but that's like the closest thing I've had to a full weekend. That's the cadence of our lives. You know, you know what I mean? It's like work, In work, months, work, work. Yeah. And then have like maybe a break. Yeah. You so, might get a little break there. But a lot of yeah. times your break's not your break. So I actually had this discussion with one of my peers. Um, for me specifically, cause I have like the largest area in the company that I work on. I cover two States, you know what I right, mean? Right, right, right. <clears throat> and, uh, so for three weeks in a row, this is before that trip, before that trip, three weeks in a row, I would work, I would leave on a Sunday once having to drive like six hours. Oh, God. Um, but mostly only having to drive three. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so I would leave on a Sunday. I would come back um, on a Friday. So my Saturday was just me doing fucking laundry and whatever I had to do around the house because right. I still live here and have a family. Right. You know? And yeah. then Sunday I'd be on the road again. Right. And that happened for three weeks in a row. And then we took this trip to California and then I went to Billings as soon as we went, you know, the next day. Right. And our flight was delayed on the way back. So it wasn't terrible. We got home like nine or something, but I still had like all this fucking laundry to yeah, do because like, I'm, uh, I'm not a person that has like a ton of clothes that I like. You yeah, know? but <laughs> yeah, why you don't have to have a new outfit for every other no, day. You no, know no, what I mean? No. I say every other, I mean every day. 
<laughs> well, me. I do for work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just like normal men at our age, we have like two pair of pants and like 18 shirts <laughs> and they all work. You know what I mean? Well, so, I have work clothes and nice clothes. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. And I, I don't want to. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Narrow, mixed the two. No, but that just seems like uh, that's the cadence of our lives. Yeah. That's that's yeah. the cadence of you wake up, you go to fucking work, and then you're just like, good God, I can't wait to get off. You get off of work, right? You, you're working till the next break. And it's so weird that, that it's that fast now. That's fucked up to think. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. just blew my mind. We're working till the next break yeah. now. That's how fast this shit goes. And then we get like a day or two break. Like, I've been really lucky, and we've been having some... It's like every other weekend is a three day weekend. Oh, Holy nice, dude! Oh, it's so beautiful, dude. Like this is a three day. That's right? awesome, man. That's like the perfect amount of time. But yeah. then I gotta go in work six. Yeah, and off one, and then work another six. <laughs> I'm like, God, you know. I mean, if this was consistent, I think my life would be consistent. Yeah, absolutely. but it's not consistent. I see it taking. Of course that our whole life cycle and shit like that right now, just in the time period that we're in is just about that. We're yeah. kind of building that future. If you yeah. really think about it, and if sure. you really want to have a good idea of like what you're doing, <laughs> you're like, all right, yeah. Yeah, I would yeah. say that's pretty much what we're doing. We're, gonna, we're making shit easier for other people. It's true. <laughs> but at the same time, why does it got to be so fucking hard for us? You know? Uh, let's right. have some fun. That's, that's the whole deal. Um, I see it all the time, and I feel it all the time. And I just I look at it, and I'm like, good God. The world is has to be different than this because our forty, uh, almost forty five years now, the same thing. Yeah, it's kind of like goddamn. I was young once, and I loved it. That's why we loved it so much. I know, because right? we had we didn't have that. I mean, it was just uh, I. Even like if I like in the army, like obviously they're like I was in Cuba for six months. It was eleven days on, one day off. Right. Well, I made most of everything. Yeah. Right. So I didn't. It wasn't so much then, right? Because I didn't have like a family to that I wanted. To, I didn't want to have a wife. I wanted to go home and see. Right. I right, didn't right, have right. kids that I had to like raise. Right. Yeah. So. And even after the army, like I worked for the state, but dude, when I was off, I was off. It was time to party, <laughs> right. you know? Right. So. That's what we did. I mean, and then, yeah, I mean, I, I uh, was a dad at fucking 19, 20, you know right. what I mean? So um, then it just became, all right, let's work. Yep. I think all my, all my 20s, most of them, <laughs> and most of my 30s were like, a month in a row and then a day off yeah. six days on six days uh on for fucking months years and shit like that right so it fucking sucks yeah. <laughs> so now i'm at home and i love it <laughs> but at the same time i'm just like good god same thing creeps up yeah. even on that shit i just you always just want to have fun and watch movies <laughs> selfishly or well, work on your fucking house yeah that's that's been my big thing like we've had a lot of you know, we had 70, 90 hour, mile an hour winds not that long ago and took down a bunch of trees and my fence, part of my fence. And like, there's no time, dude. <laughs> there's no time I came home. You got to on... take off work to go to work. Uh, I know, dude. Like, I came home and, like, because of all that travel right in a row, and my, like, yard is suddenly up to my knee. And yeah. I was like, oh, I just need to go buy a new lawnmower. <laughs> so I went and did that, you know, like uh, all the things. And <laughs> but four loads of laundry later. And I know I say laundry a lot, but, but it's that's for what real. You do. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but so four loads of laundry later, and my Saturday's over. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm like, oh, I'm going to sit down and watch a movie, and yeah. my wife's at work, you know? It's 6.30, and, I'm yeah. just going to chill, and then that's all. So that's kind of nice. Yeah. You know? But then you you stay up too late, over. and then you can't sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you wake up at till 3 o'clock in the morning? Diablo 4 or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've been waking up at 3 and 3.30 uh. almost every fucking night. Oh, wow. Lately. Yeah, uh. it's kind of crazy. Yeah. I'm like, ooh, is let it me, the witching hour? Oh, it is. Let me tell you what happened to me. I was in, I had flown to Billings, Montana to drive to Cody, Wyoming, okay. um, which is under two hours. That's cool. It's much better than me driving eight and nine hours up there. You know what I mean? Right, right. But uh, so I go the next day, I go and I work with my new person up there. <clears throat> I get back to the hotel and I'm getting my personal computer out. And I wake up on the end of the bed two hours later. <laughs> God damn. I'm like, I don't even know what happened. Damn. And then I was like... 
now I can't go back to sleep at a normal hour. Right. You know what I mean? Because it so was weird. restful. Yeah. It, it yeah. was like your body. Obviously, my body was like, hey, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. There was an emergency switch that <laughs> yeah. you tripped. You Something, know? dude. I was like, I, I was like disoriented. Wow. I was like, what is going on? Where am I at? What happened? I thought it was the next day when I wow. woke up. Like, I felt that, ref- like I'd slept that much. Wow. But it was only two hours later. <laughs> You're like, yeah. what the and fuck? I was like, it's 10 o'clock? <laughs> What? Yeah, that shit's <laughs> fucking crazy, dude. Man, I, I woke up crazy. not not too long ago, and I was, and I, and I didn't even know what day it was. <laughs> They're all the same, you know. Most everything kind of just is the same. Yeah, you know. And I do try to squeeze things in, even if I'm traveling. Like I went to the theater this last week and watched uh, the new Planet of the Apes movie. What'd you think? It was good. It was, yeah, it was good. Right, <laughs> I, like I can't like okay. It was a it great looked movie. great. Yeah, the story was great. I thought a good, anyways, good. But at the end of it, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that was the Planet of the Apes movie. I'm leaving now. It was I, a tale of the Planet of yeah, the yeah, Apes. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like know? um, and and even though I do think there were messages within that movie. Oh yeah, there is uh, always usually in those movies, but like it wasn't anything where I was like. Huh. It's profound. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was like, oh, okay. Yeah. I'm well, leave and now and go back to my hotel. The Easter eggs were a little bit um, up there in this Ooh. one. To co- to to have it connect with the uh, the circus ones. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. The Andy circus ones. Yeah. Um, the newest ones. Which is cool. I like the symbol. You know, yeah. that was what Caesar always had. That's what his view was from up top. Yeah. Um, the baby doll. Yeah. Um, that one was, to me, I was like, good God. They're really? Yeah, it was fan service. Yeah, that 100%. Mm-hmm. But, okay. So, that makes me think that they are on the East Coast. Right. Right? And that entrance that they were going into is where Cornelius was digging with his archaeological team in Planet of the Apes. Could have been, yeah. Because, I mean, they had, like, the pacemaker, and they had the glasses, um, but it was all encased in rock at that point. Right. So... If you go generations and generations, hundreds and yeah, because even though this years, was in the future quite a bit, the actual Planet of the the original Planet right. of the Apes movies were way like, further down, the like road. three thousand something, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was something crazy, right? three thousand forty something, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. And so you add those generations, so they they're probably what in this movie three four generations removed from Caesar, yeah, right, oh, yeah, which makes sense because I think it, it was. I, it maybe. wasn't. It wasn't that. I thought it was much. maybe more than that, just because, yeah, yeah. like, there were such. Like, if it's all on the same continent and they don't know really about Caesar, so they're not. They're 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 get, they're doing that tribal thing. They're doing right. that evolutionary kind of next step, right? Where they're going and exploring. They have their tribes. They stay away from each other. They have their yeah. own areas, yeah. their regions, so they know where to stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know they're like whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, we're not going to go on that part, which makes me think keep, that the keep, forbidden keep those land. Those damn ep- echoes out of here, <laughs> right? Which makes me think that the forbidden zone in the movies in in our American Planet of the Apes movies mm-hmm. is the middle of the country. Could be, yeah. You know, makes from sense. like Virginia on or some right, shit, something sure. crazy. You know, because didn't they talk to somebody in Tennessee? Yeah, or something like that, right? Something so like that, yeah. that to me, makes me think that there are the, still those people, but they're all in the Midwest, you know what I mean? And both of the coasts are gone because they were destroyed. You got the Forbidden Zone, which is forbidden because nobody really goes that far as an ape. Right. Because they stick next to the water. They're very tribal. Right. And then you bring it up to these people attacking the apes because they're still fucking like, no, I want it back. I want my world back. Fuck you apes. Yeah. Cause we really even asked him too. He's like, yo, so why can't we live together? And she's like, no, she has a gun. That the girl time. was too cool for school. Ooh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she was. Um, and I think honestly, a little bit of what I didn't like about the movie like I didn't hate her as an actor. I didn't. I just thought the character was out of place. We don't have enough information about her to really make a well, if a, it's, a good if, opinion. If about it's her. four or five generations later, right? Like she just seemed too modern. Yeah, 
Yeah, and not necessarily that you wouldn't be. I mean, it would depend on where you grew up and who your parents, you know, who the people who raised you were. Obviously, whoever it was knew about this place, right? Right. So she but was raised the same... underground, I think, right? Sure. For... I don't think they say. Yeah. Um, but all I'm saying is, like, she seemed too hip. Yeah. She's but... a little too hip to be square. Right, right. It's like know? culture stopped um, yeah. in 2022. <laughs> And they're like, but no, it really stopped in, you know, yeah. 2004. Right, right. <laughs> but no, she, she was kind of, she wasn't a very compelling character at that point because we didn't have enough information who she was. And she was just as bad as the other, the bad apes. But she was a major part of the movie, which you really, if you're not going to give us a lot of what, who she is and things like that, you're just going to think she's a, a, you know, just a runaway or something. Well, I like that's... I like how they built her up. I did yeah. like that one like, yeah. where she was like following him. But them. then it became about her. Yeah. And it was like, oh, no. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. where But it started out great, like the like uh him going back to get the egg after they find out there's only two or whatever. Because she cracks the egg yeah. on him, which is crazy. Spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but that thought, first yeah. scene where he's like going up all that stuff and the like the side of the mountains coming down and you know it all right. asphalt or whatever. Yeah, that was. yeah, the the buildings. Yeah, that's what I thought um, kind of helps date it too to kind of put it into perspective is how how much the Earth has reclaimed it. Yeah. Then, if you want to tie these to the original movies, how is it going to get wiped away? You know what I mean? Right. All of well, that shit. That's a thousand years later. Right. Right. You know. So, so it's like everything's encroaching from somewhere that happens over there. Sure. So I was like, oh, okay. But then they use the same kind of scarecrows. Um, I liked how they had the missionary kind of um, ape that had probably crossed oh, through yeah, the Forbidden yeah. Zone. Oh, yeah, the orangutan. Right, right, right. Yeah. And he was like, I'm the last of my kind, but not necessarily all the way in Oregon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, in what... Washington, or what was it, upstate uh, California? California, yeah, yeah. yeah. So over you were there. You were talking about the original? Right, yeah, right. Yeah. Or not the original, but. Yeah, yeah. Because the, the original, original would be Cornelius one. Like East James Coast. Franco. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a canceled James Franco, yeah. who I still, that is one of my favorite um, Planet of the Eight movies, by the yeah, way. That first a, one. It's a great of his movie. With yeah. him in it, yeah. ALZ 113. Yes. <laughs> which is, which is, um, then you see the Eagles. Now, okay, so if apes evolved. There has got to be other um, genus or species that's going to be affected by it as well. Not necessarily. Maybe not as the same speed. Not necessarily, though. Yeah, well, it I could think be how it affects the their DNA, right? Specifically. Yeah, yeah. See, and it maybe takes a long time because that bird was. I mean, most eagles are smart anyway, but right. And this one was trained for a long time to communicate. By like the yeah. eagle or the whatever he was, the bird e guy. Yeah, eagle egg master. <laughs> But which was fucking cool. No, all that was cool. Yeah, they. Uh, it was very like. It was very like. I and I think I do this too often in movies, and it's not on purpose. But I'm like, oh, that's that's gonna come in real handy later. Yeah. It was like the the Easy. drone and Poltergeist, the new Poltergeist mm -hmm. movie. Um, yeah, this was a much better movie, by the way. I'm not saying that. But oh I'm yeah, just saying yeah. like that. I that's an example that I always use because it was like so instantaneous. You yeah, know what I mean? It was yeah. like, Okay, mm. this one was like that too, a little bit. You know, Halloween, where I was like, yeah, Halloween ends when they show the the grinder. Yeah, the, you know, you're like, yeah, yeah. that's mm -hmm. how he's gonna die. <laughs> I said it out loud that, that first time I watched. It, I was I like, yeah, too. that's where he's gonna go. Yep. They're like, no way. <laughs> but yeah. But, but I, yeah. I, I, my brain. I don't mean to do it. I just think my brain does that to me. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, that's it. That's how I've always looked at movies That's too. How the movie's yeah, gonna end. it's like movies. You look at it and you figure it out before it even ends. I don't know why I do that. I think I don't know. It was just like I a, think the best movies. I don't do that. My, yeah, I'm just so engrossed in the story. Right. right? It, but and if you can look at it and be like, "Oh shit, that's gonna happen." Yeah. You're like, "Ah, oh, they're setting shit up." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's too much foreshadowing. <laughs> um, but that was an intrinsic part of their people. And that was cool. I yeah. liked all that. I liked all that. Which um, we didn't really get into the different tribes of apes. No, just the two, really. Yeah. So, I mean, these apes didn't have like a universal dress code like they do in right. the other ones, right? Um, so that kind of can date it back. They Well, they definitely weren't militaristic. Even the, the only one that was militaristic were the ones that were doing it for Caesar. Right. Even though right. it was like, they, again, just a great, you know. Uh, Religious. Thought kind, on society, yeah. like on Twitter someone the meaning of something whether that's religion you know politics um, politics whatever, whatever yeah. it might be right and and it was a little bit of both in in that case because that guy was the head ape of that one was smart enough to recognize about learning but yep. then he grabbed on to something that like being a caesar and being you know yeah 
he used that. Well, he, he, he misinterpreted he had a Caesar. Human there. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's how you misinterpret the past, right. you know. So you really kind of put it into a religion, and you kind of see how it is affecting the new world. Well, I thought it was know? interesting how he took the Caesar name, and then found a human who was really smart, and it was William H Macy. Right. <laughs> and where did he come from? How was had like, him shit. read him Roman history about Caesar, which are totally two different. Right thought processes in the world right right right. which if you take him picking his name caesar they're looking at caesar correlating it together without knowing who he is right so that's where they get heard of the caesar you know the caesar that started everything right so he wants he wants to be kind of the leader of that part because he sees it and is like oh i can get that yeah you know so he turns his fellow people into slaves to open a door yeah which got me because there's just one thing that I never understood on this one, because this was in the side of a cliff, right? Why they didn't try to go to that door? That why why didn't went, they go around to the other they side? they not look around? <laughs> that was my question. Yeah. It's like, who scouted this shit? Yeah. I mean, for this real. girl knew right where the door was. Right. <laughs> right. Obviously, people got out. it wasn't out. hidden. No. <laughs> it was right there. It was way out of place. I mean, you could have take, taken a swim and be like, what's that? Yeah. Oh, shit. That's right behind our camp. That was pretty weak. Maybe that was part of the piece, too, where I was just like, okay. When when I realized that, and I, and I was thinking, okay, well, how are they going to get out of there? Oh, shit, they're going to have to climb mm-hmm. up above. Well, that means somebody maybe, I don't know. Yeah. It just, it, to me, it was like, oh, they could have ended it a lot sooner if she was just like, hey, just let me run in and grab something. <laughs> right. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be right back. Or go around them <laughs> and go over the it other side. It would have been really over quickly had they original people like the caesar people would have just looked for that fucking door in the first place and they'd have been like i'm gonna go sneak in this door oh there's fucking people there oh shit. <laughs> hey guys hey i'm dead all right <laughs> <laughs> don't go back <laughs> if i'm not back in two days in the military <laughs> right and see and you can see like the gorillas becoming the militant ones mm-hmm. you can see the orangutans you know being the spiritual but also scientific ones right um i don't know so i like the movie i like the characters yeah i did too it's this is almost like a rogue one yeah. In a way. Sure, and, sure, sure. And kind of putting it in the middle part of where we don't know. Right. So if they do end this kind of run of Planet of the Apes, I hope they end it with a reboot or not necessarily a re- reboot, but a remake of Planet of the Apes number one. I disagree. Here's what they need. They need a movie that starts before the first ship lands and ends with them getting captured. And that's what, because that's what old Charlie came for in the first place. And we never got their story, really, of what happened when they landed, did we? Who? The original people that Numbnuts came to find in the first movie. Oh, yeah, he didn't, uh, yeah, he didn't come to find anybody. Oh, I thought that was, yeah, because he finds them in the, no, that's the second movie, you're yeah, right, you're yeah, right. Yeah, second I'm, movie, I'm, yeah. I'm conflating yeah. plots, my bad. Well, no, 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 I mean, they could literally put... Planet of the Apes and Beneath Planet of the Apes together now. Yeah, okay. Because we In like know, one three yeah. hour Lord of the Rings style movie. Kind of. Yeah, kind yeah. of. So Two and I half mean, hour or something. Yeah, you can have um so the next one, if they do if I if I were to do it, I would do a, a new battle. You know what I mean? Like apes okay. against um the humans for the last stand. Yeah. Complete, right? So you create the forbidden zone. Okay. So then you fast forward, right? Um, to where the apes have still congregated in their one place. They left shit alone. Orangutans kind of know all the powers that be. They figure out, like one of them is like, hey, we're going we're gonna to create this society. That's the beginnings of it, right? The sure. end of the humans, the beginning of that. Right. right. So then you wrap it up with one that shows Taylor coming down. Yeah. You know, him taking off in the past, you know, 1997, let's make it that. Yeah. <laughs> right? Or 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 just have it tied to the original movie where that where that one dude is coming back where they they already talk about him. Right. So Taylor's already been introduced. So they go back to that, they show him taking off and then the world going to shit, right? Exploding, we get to see all that, right? But then Taylor crash lands, bam, and you got Planet of the Apes. He's going through the Forbidden Zone to get to where they are, right? Because he lands somewhere in like Arizona or something. I don't know. 
because they can't walk that far. <laughs> so he's uh, like really close to the East Coast, right? So they get captured because that was another thing that they redid. Yeah. The uh, the chase scene, which it seems like that's the only thing that they redo from all the movies, yeah. is the humans getting captured. Yep. Cool. And they still had a lot of the same. I mean, they were copying a I, lot of the same stunts. I thought from it back was in. interesting that she talked about how she could. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. Don't. Um, I thought it was interesting how instead, like you know how they they didn't believe that the girl could talk, right? Right. At first. Right. And like they talked about how it made them all mute before, like the other apes movies but really what she was talking about when when she said it was took away our ability to talk was the satellites right it didn't dawn on me until kind kind of of interesting oh shit she was right she wasn't looking for a cure she was just looking for a way for the humans to talk to each other again and to mobilize right that's why i believe the next one should be a battle you know what i mean yeah um and they shouldn't do it like a conquest or anything like that because there just doesn't need to be one um, but just to end it with the battle and then have the the re redo of the Taylor and then you have the perfect I, I hope setup. that's how it goes. I would very much hate it if they made the movie where they came to us to yeah. our time. Because it'd be like all social media and stupid. Yeah. Yeah, that's why they would that I think that if they did one and two and combined them yeah. and showed the earth exploding, we're like that's all it. right, all we're done. Everything's done. That's how you should watch them anyway. Yeah. You should always watch them from Escape On. Yeah. <laughs> so that way, which when, I love, I love the original one. Yeah. When that happened. Yeah. Um, but the yeah, the, like if they did it now, it would suck a lot. I just yeah. don't think they would do it. You know. No, it was campy for the '70s, and uh-huh. it should stay in the '70s. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Don't touch it. Just yeah. leave it the way it is. And there's certain things that you can't touch, and that is so what it of its time yeah, and what it is absolutely. that you can't fuck with that. Now, Escape from Planet of the Apes, no. Oh, no. That is a one-off that is just like, holy shit, that's fucking great. It's so weird. (laughs) Right. (laughs) It's unusual, but you can infer a lot of things about it. Like, they brought the disease. Yeah. They killed all the pets on accident. Yep. (laughs) Bastards. But then if you watch it in in the way that it goes, then you get to see kind of like what we see with these newer movies. We get to see the the birth and we get to see the change and, you know. Which they started at the right point. Yeah. You know, uh, with the uh, Andy Circus ones. Yeah. And that concludes our Planet of the Apes podcast. Bam! Because, <laughs> yeah, no. last year we did all of the Apes yeah, movies. I know, huh? I know. We went on about that movie. And, that's and okay. we're still going on. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> uh, did you watch else? the new Ghostbusters? No, no. I had the, I've had the opportunity to see that three times in the theater, and I've said no. Well, it's a good thing you did. <laughs> that bad? Wow, man. Yeah. Wow. I am yeah. 100% let down on this one. The last one was cool. This one had a lot of great effects, but just, again, let's just let's just go back to the original places that everybody loved, and let's try to make Star Wars again. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's the same shit. Yeah. You know? I mean, ha- I, there was one character that they had. Peck was back in it. Okay. You know, um, and he's the mayor of the city now, Oh, which is weird. News. Yeah. So he was like, yeah, as soon as I saw him, I was like, ah, shit, he's a bad guy. <laughs> but everybody's pretty much a bad guy. It's just they have a drone of course. deal. Yeah. They have their fucking badass Ghostbusters busting machines and shit. It's just. Everybody's trying to dig at your nostalgia. That's for sure. That's what they do. Yeah. Nostalgically dig at something like Amadeus. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a Tarzan, a Legend of Greystoke, yeah, you know, yeah. or Stroke or whatever the fuck that was with Christopher Lambert. Yeah, yeah. You know, give me something like that. Greystoke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> give me some fucking movies that I don't really remember, but were great. Yeah. I Maybe we need a reboot of Dangerous Liaisons. I don't know. <laughs> I think we need a reboot of Johnny Dangerously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cool World. Yeah. Give me uh-huh. another Cool World, <laughs> you know? Uh, I, I can't I can't wait to see... Uh, It'll have uh, Ryan Gosling and there you go. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal in it together again Man. for the first time. You know how, bad, <laughs> how much they were pushing that fucking Fall Guy movie? Uh, Jesus, I, ho- I, I haven't looked. I hope it did terrible. I think it did. Good. 
Um, <laughs> I, Fuck I, off. Did they know it was going to be that bad? Well, what were they trying to do? Sell popcorn buckets? I don't well, get what this movie, why yeah. it was so big. I, I, what are they trying to, uh, was this a last ditch effort to bring in a, I, a resurgence in the, the Hollywood summer blockbusters or some shit? I don't know. Because that's what it seems like, right? Because he made money last summer with Barbie, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's let's put him in another yeah, blockbuster. Ryan but Gosling. Like, he wants to play in the MCU. What? He wants to play Ghost Rider. <laughs> he okay. could probably do it. He's a good actor. I'm not saying that. I He's would a decent actor. I don't say good, but yeah. If you watch uh, the Place Behind the Pines, mm-hmm. okay, yeah, you can use it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I could see him doing it. And if he was, if he did the shit like he was doing in Drive and yeah. Only God Forgives and in those movies that he did with Nicholas Winding Wren, yeah, yeah, then I I could see it being a character that he could actually really do. Cause he yeah he, he could be Johnny Blaze. Yeah, he could do it. But it's all the comedy shit. Yeah, I do. I I do have to say that the Beavis and Butthead skit on Saturday Night Live was the shit. Yeah. Or when we watched it, I was like, holy! I don't, I don't shit. have any hate towards that guy. I yeah. have a hate towards this weirdness of of pulling like the Fall Guy. <laughs> Why are you making him? First of all, the Fall Guy wasn't a fucking movie in the first place. It was no, a TV show. It's a TV show. So now you're making the A Team movie, but with. But it's the Fall Guy, dude. <laughs> it's just the Fall Guy. Yeah. Should, fall Guy should be what it is. Yeah, leave it. The Lee Majors was great in that role. So was everybody else. That that TV show was a shit. Yeah, it was a great it, show. It was a TV show. Yeah. You know, the but truck it, it's was definitely, fucking badass. And it, even then, it was. You knew what you were getting when you were watching The Fall Guy. Right. There's going to be a hot girl. And and I was a kid. You just, were a kid. Yeah, just like Dukes of Hazard, man. Yeah, 100%. Same There's going to be thing. some chases. People be jumping out of things. As a little kid, I would... I loved it. Yeah, yeah. You know, seeing those the fucking General Lee racing down the road, sure. seeing the fall guy jump in that truck, and then the theme songs were yeah. so fucking great too. For sure. Not a movie, yeah. and, and, <laughs> and not even necessary. I thought I well, last time we were at the theater after the preview, I leaned over to my wife and I was like, "Hey, what if there was a movie just called The Ball Guy?" <laughs> <laughs> but all he was was like a ball guy at Wimbledon. <laughs> nice, nice. But that's all he was. <laughs> and they get him put into international espionage. No, no, <laughs> and he's no, no. got to use his skills. Nothing at all. It's just him <laughs> shagging balls. You know what I mean? And, and you just—it's just a view of him on the line, right? Mm-hmm. And then you just hear the fault. <laughs> Twelve love goes to his uh, after. Uh, <laughs> but when he's all. off work, he. Likes to fondle balls a lot. I don't know. <laughs> just, <laughs> is there a story here? <laughs> no, it's just the ball guy. <laughs> Everybody's underwhelmed when they leave. They're like, oh, well, that was a nice story about that um, nice about young just man. The tall guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See? How many other He's original like, ideas can you have out of just goes to rhyming the, with he it? He goes to the store <laughs> and he can't find a shirt that fits. <laughs> So he has to go find a big and tall store. <laughs> <laughs> Did we talk about the greasy strangler yet? No. Holy balls. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. <laughs> what a movie. And to anybody out there, uh, I'm going to put out this disclaimer because there's a couple of movies and there's a couple of things in movies that will trigger people and sure. people will hate. But then also there's so many things in movies that people will be like, that's fucking disgusting and revolting. <laughs> This movie is one of those. Oh, okay, okay. And it is fucking amazing. The soundtrack is badass. I don't know if you've seen the uh, the movie, uh, what was it? Uh, A Night with Beverly Lufkin or something like that, right? I have not. It has, um, good God, um, I synced it. That dude, um, the black guy, what's his name? Um, he was on The Office and everything. Yeah, um, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, and uh, Aubrey Plaza. Okay. And it's got a couple of other well-known people. Well, he made this after um, this Greasy Strangler movie, which okay. this fucking Greasy Strangler movie is so weird because it's about exactly what it says. It's a Greasy Strangler. <laughs> and he's covered in grease, right? So the the, the story is about a uh, man in his like 40s, he looks like, moves in with his father, right, mm-hmm. that owns a disco walking tour. <laughs> that's right what exactly right and there's a greasy strangler on the loose somebody that's covered in grease that just strangles people right as you do so 
this is like a new version of this is the best way that I can kind of relate it. It's a newer version of like a John Waters gross out filth movie. Okay. So it's just a filthy movie. That's really what it is. Uh, so half the time you get to see the old man's dick, right? Which is, it's it looks like a cone, like an old thing. And it's like a foot long, which is weird. And then they show the kids, right, 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 right. But the old man is a greasy strangler. He just ends up stri- strangling people while he's covered in grease. So he's like, in, in their, their catchphrase is, bullshit artist. <laughs> So it's if when he thinks he's telling a lie, he's like, ah, bullshit artist. Don't be a bullshit artist. <laughs> That's the whole fucking thing. And it's disgusting because he's like, I told you, if you're going to live with me, all of my stuff has to be super greasy. Even at one point, he's like slushing off his like fucking bacon. And it's like, <laughs> but they're always like, they don't have their clothes on when they're at home. So it's just them in their underwear. Right. He brings him his coffee one morning. The old man's laying in bed. He's got this huge tent pole boner. Right. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. He gets up. He drinks his coffee. He's like, hey, come here. I got to tell you something. And then he pulls his fucking legs behind his back and farts in his son's face. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this fucking movie? Dude? Exactly. So, yeah. And there's a chick in it and she like falls in love with the, the little guy. The, gre- the strangler, the greasy guy? No, his son. Oh, the son, yeah, yeah. yeah. But his son's w- way bigger. The greasy strangler, the guy that plays a greasy strangler, <laughs> and this is funny, and this is what kind of correlated uh, John Waters to me, right? Because one of the main um, guys in John Waters' troupe at the very beginning, were like Pink Floyd, uh, Pink Flamingos, um, was uh, he was a he was a hairdresser in Baltimore, okay. like one of the most famous hairdressers there, right? So everybody went to him, drag queens, whatever. That's probably how John Waters got his mustache. And sure. Shit. Well, the dude that's the main actor in this was actually John Travolta's hair guy. Really? They used to fly this guy anywhere in the world for him to do their hair in the seventies. And this guy's like, I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? He's like a world class hairdresser, right? Which is, what the fuck? (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. And that's the whole thing. And they got to beat like a, he's, they got to find out who the greasy strangler is. And he like, one dude has no nose. It's so fucking weird. It is so weird. And and eventually he like, he pops everybody's eyeballs out and and he, and he throws them in a pan of grease and he, and he eats them. What, what is this? What did you watch this on? Amazon. Okay. Amazon Prime. Okay. Yeah. It just popped up. And here's the thing. This is the coolest part, right? <laughs> so here I am. I'm outside. I uh it was one of my one of my days off, so I was um enjoying the night or not the night, but the, the daytime air, right? Yeah. It's beautiful around here. This time of year. Yeah, you know? for sure. And uh I come inside and this movie's on and I'm like, What the fuck? Is this a TV show? So I'm laughing my ass off because it's sure. so goddamn <laughs> stupid and funny. Right, right. And somehow my wife picked it out. Of, and she's like, I don't even know what the fuck. She <laughs> fell asleep halfway through it, but I was up laughing. <laughs> there were so many fucking funny parts. And I, I mean, if you get a chance, don't watch it with anybody that gets grossed out. Right. Don't watch it with anybody that's, that's like... um prudish in a way is like oh i don't want to see that right. you know what i mean sure <laughs> don't watch it with with somebody that don't watch it offended. with sensitive people yes yeah. like it's if you know what street trash is you don't watch that with anybody else yeah you only watch that with like yourself or somebody you know likes it too yeah yeah because it's not <laughs> just not leave for it alone yeah apart for sure Pink flamingo shit like yeah, that yeah. right oh my god though fucking hilarious <laughs> Well, speaking of Aubrey Plaza, did you see Marvel had their, uh, it's not like, it's where they show what they've got, like, they showed a Daredevil tra- trailer. Oh, like a slate. It, but it's for, like, advertisers. Oh, okay, I gotcha. So the public hasn't seen them yet, but a lot of people broke them down already. Like, IGN's like, it's season four. Oh. It's season four of the Netflix show, basically. Oh, dang. Which is great. Yeah, I'll yeah. take all that. Um. But uh, Aubrey Plaza is going to be in uh, Agatha Darkhold Diaries. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Why are they bringing so her gonna... into it? Yeah. Are they going to do a House of M or something like that? Do she, they? Probably, they I don't know. If they could. They, they easily could. They have an evil could. Disney princess that they're going for, you know, yeah. in, um, what's her name? Wanda. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. 
Uh, yeah, no, that's uh, weird. I mean, I'll take it. Catherine Hunt's a good actor. I like her. Yeah, she's always good. Yeah, yeah she's always funny. Yeah. Um, what was the... Uh, there's another Marvel... Oh, yeah, the Fantastic Four. Oh, hey, yeah. Pedro Pascal, do you think he would be that. Reed? I think he'd be fine. He's a good actor. He's a good actor. Not who I would have chosen, but I'm, oh. I don't hate it. I don't hate... It all depends on how they do it. Like, I, they, I'm not against yeah. any of the people that they've... Uh, I think they convolute things a little bit, but I, I think that it has to be... Okay, so they've chosen... Interesting choice for Reed. I think everybody else is pretty good. Who's who's Sue? Um, ah, yeah, I, hold I on. just... Let me, let me I, pull it up real I quick. haven't really looked it up, but, but I thought um, Pedro Pascal has Reed Richards... There's just he he doesn't need to be in everything. He's a great actor, and I don't think oh, he I needed. That. I don't think he needs that role. He could he could do a great Namor. You know what I mean? Like an old school name, old school Namor or something. Not like the new Incan God or whatnot. Bastard. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It'll be what it'll be. It's going to be interesting. I think it's going to have to be in a different universe, and that's what gets him here. Because even Silver Surfer is not. It's a female. Yeah. Um, which is Earth X. I think we kind of talked about that once. Um, so they have to be in a different universe and then we'll be brought here. Right. You know what I mean? I think it would have been cool because there's a, isn't there, yeah, there's a line in Multiverse of Madness where he's talking to Reed and he's like, didn't you guys chart in the 60s? Yeah. <laughs> it would have been cool. I'm not telling anybody how to do their job. If, like, in the 60s, like, they somehow got displaced through a multiverse of some sort, right? And we're trying to get home, but they end up in this Earth X, and it's Shalabal, which is Norrin Rad, our Silver Surfer's mm-hmm. wife, that he like saved their world. Yeah, I can see that. Some, and that's from Earth X. Yep. So like, okay, they were there, they were doing all that, and then they come back into our universe right and it's later and they're more mature and they know their powers and we don't have to go through all that shit again yeah we don't need it we we can see an origin but we can see it as they, yeah, they like, had give it me in the three comics. minutes yeah, yeah. <laughs> like they had it in the comics yeah, you know yeah. like, it seemed like it was really fast they're like get on the plane let's go and then, ah, <laughs> now, the we're, yeah, now there's a mole dude yeah what the fuck? yeah so yeah because so that'll I'm, be interesting anyways I mean, uh, i've I been know. watching a lot of the animated stuff the uh-huh. old school ones like i watched iron man after I watched um, The Incredible Hulk. The Incredible Hulk UPN series was actually really good. Yeah, yeah. That one gets um, a little bit of acclaim. And and what's weird is like it is two different cartoons, you know, with the way that the showrunners did it and the series and everything like that. Right. But they did the same fucking thing with Iron Man. Right. The second season of Iron Man was way better a million times better. It was a little bit more gruff. It just seemed like it. But they, the way that they changed, you know, Rhodey to his like his brother or some shit like that. Yeah. And they kind of fucked some shit up, but the stories in it were really good. Yeah. And then the Mandarin having his rings in the first series, but then not in the second until the. <laughs> but then the Incredible Hulk guest starred, right? Yeah. And Matt Frewer. 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 He actually was the voice of the leader in the Incredible Hulk cartoon and in the Iron Man, which is pretty fucking yeah, yeah. cool. I don't know why so, Matt Frewer was on the brain because I watched Senior Trip the other day. R- remind me of this conversation when we get done talking about this Fantastic Four movie because yeah. we want to talk about that animated universe for a minute. Yes. But uh, Vanessa Kirby is playing Sue Storm. Um, she was from The Crown. She's been in some movies. Um she fits the profile. I'm assuming she can act. Yeah. Um, and then Joseph Quinn is Johnny Storm. Um, I think um, uh, I'm trying to think what you might know him from. Stranger Things. He was Eddie. Okay. Eddie Munson. Rock and Roll Hellfire Club. Yes. Yeah. All right. Um, and then. Oh, I forget who was playing thing. Oh, Eben Moss Bachrock. He's I kind of like this. He's like the first person that I think was actually Jewish that's going to play Ben Grimm. So that's kind of neat. Um, but he was in was Ben Grimm Jewish too? Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah, I thought. Yeah. Um, I remember this guy from the John Adams miniseries on HBO. But he was uh 
He played Micro, I think it was, in The Punisher. Which one? Um, 2017, 12 episodes oh, on and, Netflix. And, oh, in that one? Yeah. Fuck. Man, I, I think that's remember. who he played. I don't remember that. Let me, let, me, let me make sure that's who it is. That's a series I need to revisit. Yeah, me too. I, uh, no, that's not who that is. Hold what, on a second. Yeah, what pissed me off about The Punisher is like they never got to The Punishing. <laughs> <laughs> Only, only a little bit of punishment. <laughs> was I don't know out. when he cut up that dude's face. Well, yeah, 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 yeah but that was, like, that was pretty punishing. It took twelve episodes to get there, <laughs> for sure. I'm with that. <laughs> yeah, the Punisher is killing for all twelve ep- episodes. You know, yeah, just yeah. like fucking wiping people out. I think we got a lot of the Punisher killing people in Daredevil. Daredevil, yes, yeah. that was the Punisher he we deserve. David Lieberman. David Lieberman. Lieberman. But uh, guess who else got cast in it? John Malkovich. I think he'll make a good villain. A lot of people think that he might be um, the thinker. Thinker? Or the yeah. puppet master? Or the puppet master, maybe it was, yeah. Ooh. Either way, he fits the profile. Natasha Leone got cast in Paul Walter Hauser she, as well. And Natasha Leone is um, Alicia Masters, right? Yes. Okay, so then that that's makes a, sense. Yeah, because that's the, Step, she's the daughter. Stepdaughter. Or Stepdaughter, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was watching um, the UPN Fantastic Four last night. Ah. Okay, let's get into that real quick. Yeah. Okay. So, did you watch, um, you've watched X-Men 97. Yeah, yeah. Let's, and we can yeah. get into that in a minute, but yeah. a lot of people... I'm just going to give you one little... We'll get into that, but I want to talk about... There's a scene where they show the Black Panther, and they say his name's T'Chaka in it, right? And people blew up on the internet about this because there's a nine... In one of the Iron Man, 90s Iron Man cartoons, it's T'Challa as the Black Panther. And it should all be one universe. But I tell them to shut up. (laughs) Get off the internet, hoser. (laughs) <laughs> um, <laughs> leave movie poop shoot. because I, I think what they're doing is lining it more up with the time period that would fit in with the mcu now okay because it would have been t'chaka in 97 okay you know what i mean right so just shut the fuck up and enjoy this great fucking this is probably the best fucking marvel cartoon that i've seen in maybe my life i oh most definitely, you know when this. This the, X Men yeah. ninety seven. When particular. it comes to yeah, when it comes to Marvel animation, anything that Marvel's done, anime, everybody's got the soft spot for the original Spider Man. Sure, you know that was great. That was a in the nineties wow. X Men. Sure, those yeah. were the two big ones. Then you hit the nineties X Men, which is like I was fucking... a little more amazing. Spider or Spider Man is amazing friends. Right, 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 right. So, <sighs> there was so much that was there, and then yeah. plus the sixties had the you know yeah. The, the old school animation one, when Captain America throws his mind <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. I owned all those on video cassette when I was in the Army. I had them on VCD. <laughs> in, in the original packaging. God dang. Yeah, the big puffy packages. Dang, that would have been badass. Yeah, it would be cool if I still owned all that stuff. That no I shit. Because they were so <laughs> lame. The yeah, fan, oh, yeah. The they Fantastic were, Four. Yeah, they it was were like, terrible. It was like, let's just save on animation. <laughs> Thor and his gay wow. pride parade. Yeah. <laughs> there was just so much that they did. And then even whenever they started making movies, when, when DC did, mm-hmm. I think it was like Coke and Pepsi almost. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like um, Marvel Animation came out with their Ultimate series, right? Which I thought were pretty good. The first one specifically. They were good. The, Marvel, the Marvel animated movies that were made in Japan mm-hmm. were the shit. Yeah. Like The Punisher, Black Widow, um, Norman Reedus was like, the Punisher on one of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, God, there were so many good ones to begin with, but you, they never really got as good as like the DC, which DC just like was holy shit. These Until guys these last, it. The, yeah, I agree with that completely. Like especially not even the early DC stuff because like the Superman and Wonder Woman they were all right. Um, those were the first two I remember coming out. From Superman like the, was first. Like the TV show movie? No, no, the ones? movies that came out like when DC Animation started putting out the movies. Uh-huh. The first one was a Superman movie, I believe. Superman. There was an earlier Wonder Woman one. Um, and the Wonder Woman one was way better than the Superman one. But the animation was, eh, it was okay. 
but it wasn't really until they hit like uh, the under the red hood stuff, things yeah. like that, where you're like, it just started blowing everything away, in my and, opinion. Yeah. And that was yeah. only the first couple of them that I remember that were kind of right, right, okay. It, which they kind of crept up, and at that same time, I think they were doing the Ultimate movies, yeah, uh, yeah, Ultimate One and Ultimate Two, For and then sure. they had like that Black Widow one, Punisher. They had they had an Iron Man and something one, I don't know, and they had Te- all... Technovores or something like yeah, that. That was know. Japanese, which uh, was really cool. Oh no, I'm not thinking of that one but you're right yeah that, there was that but there was a movie too it was iron man and somebody oh um, yeah they then they had the hulk and and wolverine Green, yeah which was really like multiple stories hulk versus thor yeah um but yeah those were good those were okay but growing up we had x-men yeah and what was it 91 One, and, yeah, yeah and all the way up until 97 yeah so Till ninety six, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, but the thing was, is like that was, I was still in junior high, you know, going into high school. But I remember watching those mo- those shows, and still, whenever graduating, being like, they're still fucking on. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! I need to watch this again. You know, <laughs> Saturday morning cartoons were still cooking at that point. You know what I mean? Um, to the point where there was still something on from my childhood. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I always liked it because that show you could turn it on anytime. It was you're watching mutants. Yeah, you know, it was no, cool. I remember, and and I'm a little older than you. I remember being in the army and in a hotel in some rando town in Colorado after a good night. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, I'm watching the X-Men Saturday morning cartoons. Let's go. You know, yeah. like they'd have like a couple of them on in a row or something <laughs> yeah. early in the morning. I was like, fuck yeah, let's go. My parents understood it, which is weird. I remember hearing them say, oh, this, this X-Men show is like a soap opera. Yeah. I'm well, like, so comics are like a soap opera yeah and they're, was, com- yeah. they're a soap opera for people with imaginations yeah you know what it I mean? was that correlation to yeah. me too to know that i was like oh okay so that made it okay for me to like comics sure. and, and to like animation and to like things like that i think that was a really big kind of um i was thinking about this not too long ago i was thinking damn yeah, that did kind of put it into perspective for me. So it's like, oh, I can like that stuff. Yeah. Even though I didn't have a lot of friends that did as much as I did, you know? I don't know. I had a lot of my friends were artists, so that helped. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, not yeah. me. I can't draw worth a shit. Don't no. get me wrong. No. But I have some friends that are very good artists. And yeah. um, even the ones that weren't really artists were into, you know, right? whether it was comics or, you know, some sort of pop culture. You right, know, whatever it might be. I'm the kid that that played baseball, but I, you know, I probably want to be reading a comic book in the dugout. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, I mean? yeah. <laughs> but that For was sure. that was just the thing, and the X Men show in that correlation, and then still always having it throughout all these years, and then it coming back and killing it. Yeah, because this I new th- season is fucking the shit. I think that was the trick in high school, right? Like I only talked about comics with my friends that were interested in comics. Right. But I hung out with different groups to some degree. You know what I mean? So like comics, I just talked to them about what they talked about. Right. Exactly. And and it interested me too, or I wouldn't be talking to them. Right. Right. But I'm just saying like comics were something that were still there for me, but I didn't collect them. You know? Oh, I did. Like to some degree I did. Like I didn't have a huge, no, like maybe a one long box. Um, I traded all my shit. I sold all mine when I was like, 16 to take a trip to phoenix dang yeah it was like a dumb dumb motherfucker i was in eighth grade and i thought i was getting older and cooler Mm -hmm. i was smoking right (laughs) i wanted a zippo Uh um neighborhood kid had it i traded him a giant box full of comics just for that zippo because i was like i don't want them which is stupid because there were so many good books yeah now you look back and you're like holy shit but you know, at that time, I was like, I don't need it. But then when I when when I came back to it, it was like ninety eight, and then I'm like, Ooh, what's happening to Captain America now? <laughs> <laughs> he got addicted to ice. I remember that. I just think through life, it's been like I'll not pay attention to any of it at all for a little bit, and then that that doesn't matter what the media source is, right? Whether that's TV or movies, video games, like I just go through little pieces where I 
that's not my life. Right, right. Because it's always but then something it's nice that's to come back to. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. I did the same thing. You know, uh, I got back into it. I was living in Dallas. Always went to Titan Comics um, all the time. Love that fucking store. Started picking up back issues and just really enjoying it because it was it was a very solitary time. Yeah. You know, for me. So I was really, really, really into, you know, just I dove back into it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then still having those books today, like when I'm, like I said, I'm I'm redoing some stuff and kind of ordering some stuff. You know what I mean? Sure. Uh, putting stuff in order, and then just looking at them, being like, "Damn, I remember Game Masters." Sure, that was a fucking cool ass place. <laughs> and like I have my Green Arrow number one, um, that still has the sticky note on the back of it that says Green Arrow number one Brock Smith. I'm like, huh. That's cool. And yeah. then I didn't even realize I had Dennis O'Neill and Barry Kitson, mm-hmm. um, Punisher, Bat- Batman Punisher. Yeah, nice. Yeah, it's like a limited, it's 2,500 or something like that. So it's it's a high number. But um, I was like, damn, I got a Dennis O'Neill deal. Mm-hmm, nice. And, and then I bought a comic the other day that was a Ron Lim signature on nice. the inside. So I have all these weird issues <laughs> where they're like signed on the inside covers, you know? Okay. Like, um, God, um, who's the guy that did the, the 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 fucking good God it was Secret Wars? Who was the artist? Uh, the original Secret Wars. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Did the black the black Spider Man and everything? I oh, got his. Farlin. No, 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 no. Before that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, oh, from Secret Wars, you're yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with you now. Fucking, why can't I remember his name? He's one of the gr- Mike Zek. Oh yeah, yeah. I Good have call. I have a Mike Zek autograph to you nice. inside of Captain America with Doc Ock in it. So I'm like, oh shit, that's fucking cool. Hell yeah. They're not worth anything. But Doesn't matter for me. I'm like, ooh, Ron Lim from 1990, <sighs> and this book came out in 1989. That's fucking cool as shit. Yeah, absolutely. You know, somebody went to a convention and got that signed. Absolutely. It was just an easy thing. And like Dennis O'Neill having an autograph of his, um, I think it's really cool to go through phases, like you said. Yeah. So like right now, I'm just trying to complete one set at a time, you know. So I'm just looking. I'm finding all these books. I'm like, damn, this is cool as shit. It's like I was a kid again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's certain like runs, like like I just got that number three canary, and I'm so excited about. It, but I've been that's six months, three comics. You know what I mean? Right. But I've been looking for that number three because I missed yeah. it, and I just want to fucking listen to the rest of the story or yeah. read the rest of the story. You know, it's a doomsday fucking doomsday clock situation. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's not there. No, no, that was not because of the shipping. That was oh, because no. I missed it when it came out, oh. and not very many people stocked it. Oh. Like most of your major companies, there at least some stores here, they didn't they didn't order any. Yeah, there's a couple of good places you can get the new ones. That's cool that you got one. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. But yeah. Well, no, the, yeah, uh, like, and I don't do a pool list anywhere, yeah. you know. Yeah. But. Yeah, no, me neither. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have time for that. And I, I don't want to invest in, but I do like to do stories, right? Like, yeah. I, I like to collect now. And that's what I find now is, like, I don't want to just collect, um, like, a current run of something, right? Like, I want to go back and get specific stories that I actually just want to sit and read. <laughs> right. You know? It's hard to find the time, but... Um, like I, picking up all those Captain America bloodstones. I, and not that that was one on my head, but I was like, that's the whole fucking runs here. That's I'm the shit. Taking that, you yeah. Those things are fucking cool, too, man. I'm, I, I'm excited that I know that I can get my hands on probably every single from 100 on. Nice. In some way, shape, or form, I know I could do it. It might take a couple of years or something, but sure, sure. Whenever that does happen, you know, then it's going to be like I did with the Immortal Hulk. As soon as I got the whole series, I was like, sit down, open one, read it all the way through. Nice. That's <laughs> a great story bed, to have all the way it, through, too. Put it to yeah, exactly. Sure. And then, you know, there's um, Swamp Things. You know, starting yeah, yeah. with all of those, which I, I have one through like. 64 there's just a couple of holes in there you know yeah. so and but then there's so many other series that i've read them all hellblazers everything like yeah, that absolutely. that i have them i'm like oh <laughs> specters too right yeah uh, i didn't realize how many specter comics i had too and i was like god dang i saw a lot a bunch of specter comics when i was uh outside of sterling that when i picked up all that that big lot 
but I didn't know. I don't know what's good Spectre, what's bad Spectre. The, I don't know. The Tom Mandrake Spectre mm-hmm. um, is the is one of my favorite all time just overall runs. Okay. Um, Ostrander, Mandrake, and that shit was just it fucking brilliant. Right on. Um, well, if and, I go back, I'll yeah. look and see. I just didn't know. I was like, uh... most of the time they have the series before that. Okay. Um, and then I have some, yeah, I have some fucking Dennis O'Neill, um, Dead Man's. I was like, damn, fucking got some good written tales, cool like covers. I like a lot of good covers. Yeah, I do too. too. I do too. Yeah, and I'm like, damn, that's fucking badass. Now I just want to want to get my originals yeah right <laughs> i want to have captain america every one of them so i could read them cover to cover i loved the um the collected works you yeah know, that they would be printed on newsprint because i'd fucking read tales of suspense fucking over and over again you sure know, early like iron man ones all the way till captain america 100 <laughs> right on <laughs> reading the double stories you know yeah i think i probably have more daredevil than anything he's kind of my captain america Right, I my long boxes are. I I need to put them in shorter boxes. Mm-hmm. So I can, but anyway, yeah. Um, been reading that Co- Cobra Commander series, which is pretty good. Yeah. Um, it's weird. Yeah. Shit. What else? Besides what did you think? What what, what did you think of X Men ninety seven? Oh yeah, that's right. That's why we started all this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> X Men ninety seven was the shit this yeah. year. It really was. It blew expectations really from the first episode, which it seemed like they 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 brought us into the world, and it seemed like it was the older animation, and then they picked up that animation like on the second episode to where it was better. Yeah, you know, oh, so yeah. it was like holy shit that that that's what they could do with the old stuff. And it was, I don't know if that was for real though. <laughs> I don't know if I imagined it or not. I, I think, think it, it got progressively better. I yeah. Think, I think you're probably right. It got amazing yeah. towards the end of it. And then the stories were fucking awesome, too. Yeah, I, th- I like how they threw some storylines together, too. Like, stuff that you don't need to expound on. Like, yeah. nobody needed... Because um, they touch on a lot. Like, the Madeline Pryor, like, coming Goblin Queen, should have led to Inferno, Right. Right. We didn't get Inferno. We got her Goblin Queen for like a day, and then she left, and then next thing you know, she's in Genosha. Yeah. And that's okay. It should move at that pace, because right. ba- there's too many characters for you to have delve into each one, right? Right. Um, like Fatal Attractions, we didn't get that whole story, thank God, because it was a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Um, but where they pull out, uh, where Magneto pulls out Wolverine's adamantium. Yeah. But it was super quick in this. It was just like, okay, he's freaking out, and boom, now you're fucked. No you more <laughs> Yeah. It was like, holy shit. <laughs> Whenever that happened at that episode, it was like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, holy shit, that's, that was pretty cool. I think the episode the episode before the last episode was my favorite, like, as far as, like, I don't know, the one before that was pretty good, too, though. That, that last three. Yeah. The whole uh, that trilogy. That whole trilogy. Yeah, yeah. It was fucking pretty badass. Yeah. You, how could you almost top? You have a season ender when when fucking Gambit explodes the the giant fucking Sentinel. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Absolutely. That's a season finale when Rogue drops fucking um, the Berenstein Bear dude or whatever. <laughs> What's his name? Bastion. Bastion. Yeah. Um, whenever she drops him, or no, no, that was uh, Peter Guyrich. Yeah. She dropped. Who, well, when, then he became Bastion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and became the new Sentinel or whatever. Oh, yeah, 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 Sentinel, yeah, yeah, the ultimate one. But yeah. see. That was the season ender right there. There but was just so many. Still yeah, still happening. Exactly. It was every episode was just long enough to really make it feel like it was a way longer show than it was. Right. Yeah. I mean, sometimes they would have two different stories. But well, often they had. Yeah. I, if not every episode, they had, but they often had two different stories. And it's just like in the comics too. Yeah. It just like in the original series. <laughs> I remember watching the one where it ends with, and I think it was the Genosha. Where it got destroyed, and then yeah. Xavier like lands. Oh, and he's yeah, like to, to me, my, my X Men, <laughs> yeah. and that that was a great episode. Yeah. Like that was a, the first episode where I stepped out. I was like, man, that was really fucking good. Yeah, you know the the second to last one too. Whenever they're basically in his mind and yeah, shit like that, yeah. when you're like, what? In the last episode, they're ending <laughs> up in, in his fucking clouded mind and yeah. everything and he's like fuck it i'm taking over <laughs> you know he's like who am i yeah <laughs> i don't know let's leave uh which is that was cool to have yeah. 
that it added story some gravitas. The story. Yeah. yeah to and the Wolverine story. being out still. Nobody you know. knows where he's at, right? We didn't see where he ended up. Yeah, he was in the he was in the hospital. But okay. Wolverine? Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, right. He, he was, was in the he hospital. was still being in, in like uh, he was Morph. In X, X hospital. Yeah, and Morph was like And uh, Morph turned into Jean Grey and gave yeah, him a kiss or yeah. something. Yeah, it was like <laughs> said mm. I love you or <laughs> yeah. something, I don't remember. I was like, Whoa, Morph, settle down, buddy. <laughs> he's like got She's the, not here to say it, but yeah. I will. And he's like, Somebody's oh, got the hots Jean. for Wolverine. Oh, Gene. <laughs> what are we gonna do, oh, Professor? Oh, Genie. <laughs> um yeah, um, Ro was fucking my favorite part of the whole series. Yeah. She's one of my favorites ever. Yeah, I mean, she was just she really kicks fucking ass mm-hmm. in this movie, or in the in the whole show, and just lays it on like yeah. it's nothing. I think Rogue got cooler later in the comics, like in you know what I mean. Oh yeah, she sucked at the very beginning. Yeah. She was just kind of like a, a a nuisance. Yeah, exactly. you know. And then when she got um, Captain Marvel's powers for good, yeah, um, is when she kind of changed and they they made her even more um, busty. Yeah, dimensional. <laughs> yes, that was one of the best ways to put it. It was like you, every every time Robust. you saw Rogue was like a pinup. Yeah, I you know, know you're right? like holy shit. <laughs> yeah, her and uh, Magneto uh, in the Savage Lands. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then All he, right. Yeah, <laughs> and then what, who was the other? Was Psylocke? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah they, dude, well, they did, I think they even did a Marvel pinup comic. Probably, weird. I can see it. I can That's see it in weird. Wizard. It's like, and they yeah. do the summer special edition. You're like, what is going on? The waifus. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just trying to read a comic over here. I'm like, where's Sharon Carter? Huh? I don't want to conflate the two things. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> where's Mary Jane Parker? <laughs> <laughs> well, Spider Man and Mary Jane were in the in the season finale. Yeah, yeah. Um, just in that little spot. I like how they they showed a lot of the heroes like Daredevil. Yeah, yeah. Um, they showed it was Daredevil, Power Man, right, or Luke Cage. Luke, yes, same thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, then. Who else? Spider Man, Black Panther, Black Panther. God, they showed almost everybody that yeah, was be part cool. of that. It was really cool. cool. And Cap still pissed me off because he didn't really become fucking Captain America. That is a that is a imposter. Maybe that, it's Stevel. That Captain America <laughs> is an imposter. Is he the Hydra Cap? He might be. If they bring that in and say they gotta like take out Hydra, the the X Men do, I'm gonna be like, holy shit, that'd be weird, right? Because that would explain Captain America not taking a side or not being on the right side of it. Because the Captain America in the comic books would be the oh, one that'd yeah. be like, all right, let me have a ride. Yep, <laughs> I'm going sure. with you. I, let me call the 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 Avengers. You know, maybe we got a Hulk or something like that. <laughs> but I'll help you. You right. know what I mean? Sure, no, instead this one he was like, well, I'm just gonna turn away in the war room. Yeah. Fuck you. You're not Captain America, bitch. I just feel bad about it. <laughs> That's it. it. That was the only thing that that was the weakest portrayal of Captain America <laughs> in any live action, non live action, anything. It was just the worst. It was a coward Captain America. It's fucking fake. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw that, I was like, "No, you don't do maybe that." Maybe that's the straw that breaks the camel's back, though. Like, maybe that's a position he hadn't been put in. Yeah, you know, mm, I think he has. Yeah, because he lived through the eighties well, and the seventies. He was on one of their episodes. Well, I don't know what time. I don't. When did Captain America timeline? When did he come back? In these, you know what I mean? Was it in the nineties? No. You sure? Yeah. Cause, cause, cause he was in an episode of the original, right? Which was in the nineties. Uh huh. Which was in the nineties, but he had already been an Avenger, and they were they were basically doing one of those. Let's go back to World War Two with Wolverine. Okay. Okay. So, so was they, it in the eighties then? Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Somewhere okay. around there, I think they kind of kept him in the nineties. So Cap had probably been there since the sixties. You think so? Maybe. That's the original timeline. But Tony and, Stark wasn't eighty. No. <laughs> no. You know what I mean? Like, none of those characters were old that would turn old. Yeah, they were only like 30. Yeah. 20, <laughs> 23. What, did they start when they were two? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I guess it was a 90s, so. So it could have been the 80s. Like, does that show what started in 90? Yeah, 91. 91. Yeah, so it could have been like, he was well established by the time he was in the X-Men, then. Right. It could have been the 80s. It could have right. been the 70s a yeah. little bit, you know, maybe. But yeah. then Tony Stark would have been like 45 or 
50 or something. Yeah, <laughs> which, I think, whatever. yeah. When he was hitting a bottle, he was in his 30s. Yeah, right. <laughs> but no, 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 yeah. Because in a bottle. <laughs> he was... <laughs> He was around that time, so he had already had interactions with them. Yeah. They just didn't treat his character. They treated him like a punk. Punk-ass yeah, bitch. Yeah, but that's not Captain America. Captain yeah. America should have been the one that was standing on the front of the X-Jet throwing something. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's who he Captain America is. He should have thrown his mighty shield is what he should have been throwing. Hey. <laughs> She's like, come on, sugar. <laughs> She's like grabbing him. Well, and I think pretty historically, I mean, there's been some Avengers versus X-Men things in the past couple times. Always. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But, Ultimate Wars, things yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm even leaving out the Ultimate, the can- 616. Um, there was recently, there was the Avengers X-Men where Scott was in the head of, I think that was around the same time that he killed Charles, which doesn't matter in the (laughs) X-Men world. It doesn't matter how many times you die. Um, cause Charles is back. Yep. (laughs) Cracker has fallen. Take me back. (laughs) Um, but anyways, um, and then there was one in the late eighties, early nineties, um, that was Avengers versus X-Men one through six or whatever six million i think i have it actually hmm. um but uh and i think that in that one they were fighting over like the fate of magneto oh okay you know it's kind of what they were doing in the show yeah um yeah i don't hmm. know where i was going with that but it's been in the comics a bit but other i i but, oh i was gonna say mostly captain america and the X-Men have always gotten along, as yeah. far as I know. No, no. I mean, You know, Cap's, like, he's always been on their side. Yeah, Cap's appearances in X-Men comics have always been good. Him and Wolverine, not necessarily they got along, but yet well, they were still... He was the one that... Wolverine was the one that was the most upset, though, when Captain America was killed in Civil War. Well, like, he was one of his oldest friends. Yeah, yeah well, I remember, that, yeah. Like, I remember that scene where he goes um, to, to see his body. And I don't, there's like an interaction before this, but, and I don't, I don't remember offhand, but I remember Tony's there and he's like, if I found out you had anything to do with this, I'm going to kill you basically. <laughs> and like, but there's, that was like the second yeah. and like, he's just like, fuck all you people. Right. Right. You know, <laughs> he's like, I don't think he's dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See in the X-Men 90 or in the X-Men 90 show, it was him back in, I think World War II, but he was with the Canadian Weapon X program sure. already. Like okay. I th- even think uh, Maverick was there. Oh, so in the in the TV comic in the forties? No, yeah, it was something weird. It, yeah, I don't. It, he could have been like because <laughs> they were. I, I, well, there were some comics with him and. Um, well, it was like they were like almost like an X Force um, because it was Maverick, him, Sabretooth. Wild Pack, right? Yeah, something that like that. Is that the name that. of it? Something like that. Because yeah. they were. Six Pack. They were the op. Something. They were the ones that went in and did everything. Yeah, yeah. The, like Black Ops team. Right, right. Black Ops. Black the Ops. Canadian. The mutant yeah. Canadian teams. Like, hey. <laughs> Not like Alpha Flight. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, I think in the. Because I watched it not too long ago. It was like those people were in it. Well, there was like a two or three part comic where it was Wolverine and Captain America. And there was some version of Black Widow as well. Mm. Yeah. I don't remember if that was like supposed to be Natasha because she, I don't know if she was in the 40s or whatever. You know, they never made a Black Widow. Or Natalia in the MC or in the actual comics. Sorry. Yeah. Well, they haven't made her the leader yet. Never made her the leader of the Avengers in the in oh. the TV or cartoons well, or anything. She's dead. Well, <laughs> the new Black Widow. Oh, what if she's the leader the of the Widow? new team? Yeah. What if she's the new leader? Maybe. Well, she's gonna be in the Thunderbolts. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, so it'll be like her and Bucky. Red Guardian. Red Guardian. Oh. Uh, Ghost from Ant Man Two. So, Taskmaster. <laughs> Where's he come? No, one? not her. Yeah. It's a, the one from the movie oh, Taskmaster. Wow. Yeah. And Elaine from <laughs> Seinfeld. <laughs> Baron Zemo. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think Zemo's in it. Really? Yeah. Or at least they haven't shown him. He's the leader. I, well, you and I know that. Yeah. They can do whatever they want. There's a couple other people in there, I think, though. Yeah. 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 Great Guardian. Yeah. Well, you Which said you already that. said. No, you said it. Did I? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Guardians of Red. 
I play right field, <laughs> right where the dandelions grow. You remember that that commercial? No. You don't the Pizza Hut commercial? No. Oh my God! It was it was around the same time. Okay. You know, the, it yeah. was it was something that you would you would see on your rented videos, and it was just a Pizza Hut commercial. And there was a song about I play right field, and the kids like I play right field, and he like the kid he can't catch nothing. They're playing like a sandlot. Nobody can pick up a fucking tire in the middle of the fucking <laughs> shit. I'm like, just move it, <laughs> man. That's that's a hazard. <laughs> Somebody gonna die. Yeah, right. <laughs> so they hit. They're like, they they portray it. You know, I kind of feel like you're recreating this. Maybe I do remember. This yeah, yeah. Bit. And they're they're all like, all right, just Does don't make it to catch? that dude. Yeah. Yeah. And he just puts his hand up and yeah. it falls in his glove. Yeah, he doesn't even move. No. And he's like the hero and then they go to Pizza Hut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that commercial. Now that, that was a great recreation. Good in Lord. my mind. See, you remember it because it was everywhere. Yeah, yeah. It was in between reruns of Taxi in my head. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that would be so cool to like actually come up with your own TV station. Uh, I always wanted to do a TV station to where, which, uh, which uh, I don't know if you've ever watched Pluto TV. I, I have not. It's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, only in the way that you know how a lot of a lot of us just need to have something on. Yeah. You know, whenever you're working, whenever you're doing something, right? Something on background, something interesting where you could stop for a second every now and then and be like, okay, then move on, right? Sure. It's like a good distraction at the right time. Well, they have um, channels, so they have specific movie channels, right, where you can watch nothing but horror movies, but they got commercials, which sure. sucks, but at the same time, if you... If you, you just know, have it on to have it on. Exactly. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You know, it's like watching 90s TV. Yeah. But then they also have like decade, decades of music, so where they just do nothing but music videos and shit like that, so it's cool. Yeah, that is cool. Um, I just wish that one of these days somebody would come out with a streaming service that you could say, I want to watch NBC 1956. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I want to watch... Can you imagine the size of the servers? 1956, <laughs> you get to watch everything the day that it happened, right? You that's, can turn that on would be that cool. day. That would be cool. That day in those years. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And just have it all archived like that. So you're like, well... Do you think they know? Do you think they have it archived somewhere? Yes. Oh. So from the beginning? I think they started – now, think about everything back in the day was filmed on regular film. It sure, had to – yeah, course, all yeah. the new stuff, everything like that. Yeah. So most of that shit's probably gone till they got to the videotape era. And then if they were smart in the late 90s where most people were doing it, where they were archiving that shit, because mm -hmm. there was a lot of people that were archiving video um, – fucking whatever you know what i mean to get where we are now which is like a tip of the iceberg of what we have sure probably. but they're still finding shit you know they're still finding original negatives and you got the nitrates the ones that explode and shit yeah uh, so i yeah, think i watched that, inglorious bastards yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me too uh, <laughs> um but no no um i think that their library of congress is one of the big ones that has okay, a i'm lot sure of stuff. that makes sense yeah um because whenever they have a one of those movies in the registry is a pretty big deal. So yeah. I don't know what kind of cuts they have or anything like that or how they just, they list it in there. You know, it's like you get listed in the book. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, you get to be in the movie section of the phone book. <laughs> you remember uh, phone books, man? I do. I'm do glad you, they're gone. Do you remember the coolest mm. day of getting a phone book? I hated getting a phone book, dude. The first day... To slip through the back, straight to the coupons. You're like, oh shit, let's go to Wonderland this year. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that was like the best day. It's yeah, like, that's fair. I can get a fucking two topping large pizza this summer for $12.99 <laughs> for myself. All right, I'm going to save this for... <laughs> You're like, yes. Two for one rental? Yes. That was the best day of phone books. <laughs> The fondness of them. Yeah. <laughs> the smell. Yeah. <laughs> the smell. Or whenever you would like, you would take a phone book, right? Put it on a tab. I always did this weird deal where I'd kind of like blow into the phone book and it was such thin paper that it would kind of like, <laughs> it would vibrate, <laughs> you know, and it would sure. tickle your lips. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> dude, phone books are a major part of my life. Yeah. That's weird. No, I get it, man. I'm down, I, uh, I'm down that rabbit hole. Yeah. 
I always liked because I lived in a lot of different places, like the different sizes of phone books you got. Oh shit. You know, like I remember going to like where my dad lived and he worked for the city and stuff. And like their phone book was like, uh, this little notebook, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like four uh, by six. Yeah. It was, uh, it was pretty small. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, my grandparents, yeah. I was like, cool. <laughs> yeah. You look through it. You're like, Oh, they live here too. I don't and then even like know the town where my mom lived, like it was a normal size, right? but it was still, Maybe something like an inch, inch <laughs> right. and a half. Right, right. You yeah. know? Yeah, I know um, ours was pretty big. But then, like, in some of the cities I've lived in, they were, like... <laughs> yeah. I'm like, holy shit. Which part of the Dallas I couldn't Metro imagine, area? like, being, like, in New York. Back in the you day? Know? Oh, with a, well, yeah, with a phone book. Do, I mean, do they... What happens? Like, does it right. come with a magnifying glass? Right. Like, so you can make it palpable Ooh, shit. people? What would happen... <laughs> But they're always huge. You know? Yeah, they're big. Yeah. Cause, and then you'd have to separate them out by zip codes. Yeah. Um, they would do that. I know, like, my cousin, I think it was my cousin was delivering phone books and, like, threw a bunch of them in the swamp or something. <laughs> God knows how many of that. that the is. Illinois swamps. I know, <laughs> I, I know a lot of phone books got killed for no reason. Oh, sure. And then I also know a lot of phone books got killed for Jesus. From the power team. Oh, that's true. They ripped the fuck out of those, <laughs> those phone they books. They did. They were like from hell. That's right. They, it's like phone Satan, books are Satan not was good. inside those phone books. It makes sense. Mm-hmm. Everybody's the mark for everybody. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, watch this. Everybody give it up for Jesus. <laughs> the guy's like, ah. You can just see him clutching in his hand. You're like, oh, shit. It's like a wrestling move. <laughs> ah. And he's like, ah, Jesus Christ rules. <laughs> I loved it. That was one of the hypiest Somebody. things. Yeah. <laughs> I can do that. They're a professional football player that ran through blocks of ice. <laughs> you bent a pan? Cool. Do think, that with a cast iron, bitch. Right. I think my uh, mo- most phone book favorable thought is just Steve Martin in The Jerk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm somebody. <laughs> <laughs> this is a shit though, because of what that was. Yeah. You know, because it represented that so well. I hope I, I don't know. I'm sure I was in some phone books at some point in my life, but I kind of feel like did you, I never tried to be. <laughs> did you have a student directory of like school? What? I had, yeah, we had student directories. You could pay like two bucks and they were like, they were uh, facsimile copies. Like the kids would make it and put like, you know. 1986 through 87 student student phone book you could get those at the beginning of the year what yeah and it was you and it would have your name and your phone number in there for other students only (laughs) you didn't have one of those huh if they did i'll be honest let let me let me tell you how much i loved (laughs) especially that first day you know like orient not orientation but the day where you go sign up for all the things right registration that's the word i'm looking for what a day. Um, I, I was non-participatory in anything until once I was actually in school. You know what I mean? <laughs> Should have just started like, the day of. Yeah. Going in there that first I'm day. like, of. nope, I don't care about anything you're telling me. I'm trying to get back out here to go do things in my last day of freedom. I still got a week. <laughs> still got a yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, there you go. You what know what I mean? What the fuck is but... this? Yeah. Man, I got to go clothes shopping. <laughs> maybe get some, uh, maybe one or two new t-shirts. <laughs> Man, it was clean. Those were the those were some of the days. That's the only day that I could really say was clean. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like perfect. It was like you're everybody, like man. Everybody was shiny that yeah, day. It was like man, that's so clean, right? You know what I mean? Look at everybody. It's like this is the first time you see that one dude's fucking pumas, right? Right. And for the rest of the year, you just start seeing the toes pop out of the pumas. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the pants getting bigger in the rips. You know, and sure. Yeah, no, fucking, those were the days, man. You just show up. But, um, yeah, it sucked on fucking registration day. Mm-hmm. We had those books, too. I mean, I've which never was, heard of that in my life. I remember the and value. maybe they did, and I feel like that's like, a, like I would not want my, I, I don't know. I don't know how I'd feel about that. How weird is that? Yeah. And that was in the 80s and 90s. Yeah. Um, which, I don't know why we did it. So, like, they just call your house? You could. You could. That's so weird. If you wanted to put your number in there, you could list it. 
So you mm-hmm. had like grade six, grade seven, grade eight. Oh, I would have never done that. Yeah. I it, would have never done that just because what if they called and talked to my mom? <laughs> they already have your number. What? They already have your number. I'm in there already? Yeah, technically, because oh, no, they I have your parents' killed number. Somebody. Yeah, no, they already I have your parents' number. I would have 100% parents, killed somebody. And then you can say if you want to be listed in, oh, I was pretty okay. sure. Yeah, yeah. So um, I'm, I'd, I'd be unlisted like I have been, because fuck the man. <laughs> Well, they I'm were made all the time. They were made like programs to go to like gotcha, assembly. Gotcha, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so some dude just, just saying making two staples. They're just making three dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Back then it was still fucking like two seventy five an hour. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They're like three bucks. <laughs> Fuck you. Shit. You know what I could do with that three dollars? Right. <laughs> Plus, I think they had coupons on the back. <laughs> That was the shit, though. Yeah, yeah. Just like looking through the thrifty nickel. <laughs> Man, I did looking like through looking. That. I did love looking through yeah. the thrifty. That nickel thrifty right nickel. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what do they got? It's like, ooh. There'd be nice. like the thrifty nickel, and then there'd be the even more local one <laughs> yeah. that was like whatever it was wherever yeah. you lived at the time. Free wood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Call before coming. <laughs> As is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Rottweiler puppies. <laughs> Computer parts. Don't know if they work. <laughs> it was Craigslist before there was Craigslist. Yes, it was. It really was. Thrifty Nickel is Craigslist. Yeah, for sure. And then before Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. <laughs> now you can like, actually do it globally. What do you think about the new um, food delivery subscription I think that they're trying to push? <clears throat> Which one? DoorDash. I think they have a subscription. Oh, I have no idea. Where you can pay. I think that is the biggest fuck you to those um, session workers or uh, gig workers. Oh, yeah. Once they do that, that's fucked up. Because they already get fucked anyway. Um, they get like 40% of their tip or some shit. Which oh, is really? Stupid. I didn't yeah. know that. You, anytime you have a delivery driver that does for DoorDash and shit. Mm-hmm. I um, use Uber Eats myself. Yeah, they can get in trouble um, if they... Man, there's so many things they get in trouble for, and they'll get shitty orders, and they won't get orders if they get if they get bad ratings and shit like that. And these people are they're they're actually providing a service to these you know DoorDash company people. Sure. <laughs> so now they're like, here, you're gonna pay this every month, and then guess what? You can have delivery. Hmm. Hmm. It's kind of fucked up. Hello. Uh, hello. Hello. Welcome in. No, that's okay. Don't Come on in. Oh, hey. And then we got a free extra drink if you want it. Oh, shit. Like, I think it's just some sort of like energy drink. All right. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that well, thank you yeah, so no, much. I, was like, I, I texted you guys and I did get an answer. And then they're like, here's a free <laughs> oh, drink. I'm like, cool. That yeah, out. my phone's been going thank off you, and we were so trying much. to record. No. So I, I haven't been <laughs> I paying attention. Doubt. I was like listening for a second. I was like, I don't hear anything. <laughs> no, we could always edit anything out. So yeah, absolutely. It's all good. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you very much. Love you. Oh, good. Take my car. Okay. All right. All right, little <laughs> what, 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 tofuti break. <laughs> tofuti break for me. Well, no. What else? Anything else? Nothing really, honestly. Just been doing a lot of reading, a lot of playing. Um, yeah, I got quite a quite a bit of great ideas going down for music. Nice, nice. Oh, I did watch Moon Knight again. That is excellent. Is it? <laughs> yes. Nice. Um, I watched Moon Knight again. I figured out how to like Moonlight, Moon Knight a lot more. Okay. I just watched the last three episodes. Oh, sweet. Yeah. It okay. was like perfect. I was like, oh, I don't have to watch all that build up I already know about. And I was frustrated <laughs> yeah. with the first time I watched. <laughs> you can always do the Star Wars episode two bit. Mm-hmm. Um, cause Star Wars episode two technically sucked. And the reason why it really technically sucked was because of the, the love story that they had. Oh yeah. 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 I don't know that that sucked. That was just, I think it brought more people into the story. It did. And it didn't, be, I don't think that it belonged the way that they had it made. But, okay. so if you skip every one of the Anakin scenes, mm-hmm. it goes straight to the Obi-Wan scenes. And you can skip all of those and they all meet up at the right point. Nice. <laughs> so you don't have to watch the first ones. Right? <laughs> He's like, here's the pair. Right, so that's how, sure. how I kind of look at like Moon Knight. You could just watch all the Moon Knight scenes. <laughs> Catch oh. up at the very end and be like, oh, all right. That cool. would be three minutes, like, you <laughs> yeah, know, right. up until, like, <laughs> episode three, I think. Yeah, you know? yeah. And even then, a lot of that was, like, the stuff where he's in the psycho ward. Um, yeah. And then when he dies and he's in the sands. Yeah. And all that. But there's a lot of uh, 
that's at the point where there's a lot of bounce back and forth between Steven and um, Mark when they're Moon Knight. So he'll be like fighting in the regular Moon Knight and then flip around and be like in the um, suit, you know, <laughs> yeah. and talking yeah. like Steven. So right. that, those were some of the cooler parts, in my opinion. Yeah. But I think if you watch the, all the Moon Knight scenes through that whole, what was it, six episodes? Yeah, he was barely in it, like 11 minutes or some shit. Uh, I was going to say like 10 minutes, maybe, if you're lucky. <laughs> yeah. I think that'd be a stretch, dude. I really do think that'd be a stretch. Yeah. So if you put those together and then watch the last three, it would probably be perfect. <laughs> there you go. And that would be There's like... a five-minute preamble to this movie. Yeah. And like a... 20-minute, whatever. Yeah. It's and not it's, that. And it's an actual movie yeah. because those are each, what, 45 minutes long? Something like that around there. It could be a whole movie. I think that's one of the things I liked about the good Marvel shows is they don't really stick to, like, it's got to be X amount of minutes. It's like oh, within yeah. here. 42 to 45. 48, mm-hmm. you know, 52 minutes on this one. It's okay. Who cares? They have to make it for syndication like that. Right. You know? Well, I think that's better, right? Because yeah. whoever's telling their story gets to tell their story. Right. You know? And whenever those episodes start getting syndicated on, like, CBS and shit like that, because you know it's going to happen, if cable television still kind of hangs on, mm-hmm. the syndication is going to be what brings it back. You oh, know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. To have all your favorite shows. You know, you know all those right Disney there. shows are going to end up on ABC, dude. Yeah, 100%. 100%. That's like yeah. free money for them. Yeah. <laughs> they Anytime. own all yeah. that. So all, the, so all the people that don't own the merchandise, that don't, you know, go to the movies, that don't buy, you know, comic books or anything but like it, mm-hmm. they're going to watch it on CBS Sunday night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's another revenue stream. <laughs> well, I mean, Disney owns ABC, so I I don't know, man. Like, they, I'm not saying they wouldn't shop stuff out. No. But no. Do, do they still have football on there? Yeah. Do they still have who's Monday uh, well? Night? It's ESPN, but that's also owned by Disney. Yeah, who's, and ABC. Who's Monday Night Football now? Isn't it ESPN? What did I just say? Uh, probably. <laughs> there's like a Thursday night lineup. For there's football. a Thursday is Amazon. Amazon owns I'm the Thursday sure they, broadcast yeah, rights yeah. for fucking NFL. God damn! What the um, fuck? Oh oh. Um, <laughs> YouTube has the Sunday ticket now. That's DirecTV doesn't have it at all anymore. Thank God. Fuck yeah. DirecTV. <laughs> um, it's crazy, dude. Like, it's like they're just slicing and dicing it up to make more money. And I'm like, you're a billion dollar industry. You're not losing money. No. Why don't you just do the right thing? If they would have done the right thing, what they would have done is made their own fucking app. <laughs> right? They have yes. built. Did I mention they're a billion dollar industry? Yes. Right? All right. They make their own fucking app and hey. Now you get to keep all the profits and control everything. <laughs> and I only have to get one thing to right. watch the football. And I would be fine with that, right. dude. I would 100% do that. Yeah, but why have it like... But I'm not going to subscribe to 55,000 things. All on the same... It, while you have one app that does it all, you know, instead of... I making... signed up for fucking Paramount to watch the Super Bowl because I was in Illinois somewhere at a... Airbnb. But think about you know? that one quick revenue from you. No, that wasn't other, just me. Yeah. The other 10 Here's the secret. million. My wife doesn't know that I subscribe to it. <laughs> and we've now had it for four months. Three months. I I, I wanted to watch. <laughs> Never that math works out too. Right. I wanted to watch some fucking live concerts. Mm-hmm. So I was looking up on YouTube because I canceled that YouTube premium subscription. I was yeah. like, fuck you. 20 bucks. And then the commercials are even worse now. Oh, <laughs> it's like every two minutes. Like you remember? It's like, uh, remember what it was like when you didn't have to watch these? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it sucks. It's always flow or some shit. Uh, or now. Or Jamie. Yeah. Now, now I think the biggest one is a conservative dude uh, that's here in the Springs. Oh, it's like, yeah. we're going to close down our borders and we're going to stop all these illegals from coming over. Vote for me. <laughs> it's like, fuck you. <laughs> I don't remember what we were... The Limu Emu. Oh my uh, God. Le- <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> that one's a lot. Man. On um, whatever we watch TV on. I don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you. I feel my wife has showed me. Yeah. Maybe it's like the Roku channel or something in the Oh, bedroom. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of like what you were talking about with that other like one. Pluto TV. Yeah, where it's got its own like sections and channels. You can have your you can yeah, watch. Yeah, live but, TV. You yeah, can yeah. have. You can go to your on demand. You can check the schedule. So I've been watching a lot of the Adams Family. <laughs> okay. Nice, because it's uh, just on. She's been. I think she just finished the some show called Bull. 
It was okay. It's a uh, oddly enough, it's about a guy who's like a uh, wow. What is it? He's a consultant. He's a psychologist. He's a consultant for um, lawyers or for during lawsuits, mm-hmm. right? So he does the mirror, um, the mirror um, jury. So what they do is they get they advise on who they pick for their jur- jury, right? Mm-hmm. And then they create an, another jury of people that are like almost exactly like those people. Like, cause like your prosecutor and your defense both get to strike people from like all the jurors they call, right. Until they Mm -hmm. get down to one. So he helps guide them through who, what kind of people to get. And then they mirror those people. Like it's crazy, but it's, it's weirdest thing about this is that that's what Dr. Phil used to do. (laughs) And he's one of the producers on this show. Wow. And I was like, what? <laughs> Dr. Phil. <laughs> I, I have a very good Dr. Phil story. Okay. Well, it's actually really lame, but uh, <laughs> it ties in with Oprah, too. Oh. You remember, okay, where they met. I am not endorsing or not endorsing um, Dr. Phil. I don't care. No. Just so well, you know. Before Dr. Phil was Dr. Phil. He advised on a little case um, that the Texas um, Cattle Feeders Association or Beef Wranglers or something like that, right, in Amarillo, Texas, filed a lawsuit against her because she defamated meat. She was on one of her shows. She was like – and the comment was a flippant comment that people would have. They got into what the dangers of eating red meat would be you know, in the long term. That's what she did. Right. What you see every fucking day on TV now. It's like, you know, do these three things and your doctor will love you, you know, right, shit like that. Right, That's right. exactly what it pretty much was. It was an Oprah show in the mid to late 90s, I think. I don't even really remember. Well, she had to come to court there. And she had to come to court for like, good God, like two, three weeks. And then she even came back. So my dad's shop was right off of 6th Street, which was Route 66. Um, kind of like the business, I guess, 66 or something. And then the courthouse was down the road. So I was always down in that area anyway. Well, one time I see like these really big GMCs, you know, the blacked out SUVs and everything. They were coming behind me. So I just like fucking cruised in front of them (laughs) until they were like about to turn. I was like, whoa, there's Oprah. And then come to find out Dr. Phil met her for that. Right. And was there advising her in court. He was he might have been doing what he was doing. Yeah, yeah. What his job was, and then for some reason she fell in love with him. Yeah. And then he became like her fucking fuck buddy. You know what I mean? Her her, uh, psychological guru. (laughs) And then guess what? That all started because of fucking these beef herders or whatnot (laughs) were just like, "Eh, you hurt my feelings. You're going to hurt me processing food. So did the woman win? I don't think. uh, Did she go to jail? No, she didn't. Oprah, oh. Oprah was she was good. Oh, Oprah, <laughs> Oprah had her back. Yeah, Oprah was good. Um, oh, it was Oprah? Yeah, it was Oprah. Oh, okay. Oprah I, I got a little confused. Oh, yeah, sure. it Sorry. was. It was Oprah Winfrey and Doctor Phil. They met in Amarillo, Texas, okay. for the first time to okay. work together on that trial, which was bullshit. Gotcha, gotcha. Because <laughs> they were mad. They were like, oh, "That's you're crazy." Hurt beef because we had the commercials too. It was like beef is what for dinner. Yeah, that was like fucking Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still like beef. Who doesn't? Yeah, right. Give me a fucking. I don't want to eat it off the bone and shit, but goddamn, for some reason ribs always like oh like like fuck my teeth up. Okay, why? I don't know. <laughs> ribs are delicious. No, they are. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had real in I a like long beef time. and pork ribs. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Come on. Anything anything from a swine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know. You know swine pig food. snout and my cheese. I don't know. Swine <laughs> food is good food. They just eat. <laughs> like me. <laughs> Actually, super clean animals. Yeah. But you do have to cook them, right? Yeah, you got to eat can one. die. 
Yeah. Just get a meat thermometer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> They're the animals. And it's that a you little just, bit fattier meat. Yeah, you just take out their guts and then you slide a fucking pike through them. <laughs> Put them in the ground. Like a hog roast, yeah. Old, old Texas barbecue. Big dad hole down there and we're going to have us a hog roast. It's some barbacoa. <laughs> That's what we call it down south. Mm-hmm. Barbacoa. You want the real deal where it's falling off the bone, that's barbacoa. Oh, okay. okay. See that old Mexican dude mm-hmm. over there? He knows how to cook it. He <laughs> learned it back in the day <laughs> with uh, the other natives. <laughs> that's fucking Texas. Yeah. Watch sure. Giant. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that's it. That's the romanticized Texas in Marfa. No, nah, man. I'm sure it's a little different now. Like, you think about, like, Austin as a city. It's the only cool one. And I think Dallas, too. Dallas had a lot of people move in from elsewhere. But they're still... (coughs) What's up? Still assholes, most of them. (laughs) Oh, I'm not saying they're not. I don't know. No. No, uh, Dallas is so big that you can blend. Yeah, yeah. Easy. It's a city. Austin, you can blend. Yeah. Austin has weird, weird, like, battles between... I don't know. It just seems like it's a cultural place that really it's stirring the pot enough, kind of like in like Hyde Ashbury to where it's changing. Things are changing. I think a lot of things are changing down there. Well, have, but. I, I think so. Like on a, on a lot of notes, um, obviously there was like a bit of a tech boom there. There was, you know, Dell coming in was the first one, I think. And then. Um, now you got Tesla. Yeah. For sure. Well, and you've got a cultural thing. You've already always had SX, SWSX. South by Southwest? Yeah, yeah. Now so it's... the way I said that. But that... Yeah. And then you have, like, a lot of people that moved there from California. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, and from, actually, from the East Coast as well. It seems like Nashville is, like, what Austin used to be. That's probably true, but I don't think Nashville will last that long to be like that. To be honest, that'll be the next one everyone moves to. Some people did during the pandemic. Yeah. A you know? lot of people are in Nashville. A lot of um, rock and roll people are in Nashville. It's just it seems like it's a it's a nice central kind of a scene. Well, cost in a of way. living in Tennessee. Come on, let's go. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean everybody lived in Nashville. I mean everybody's making music over there. Well, I didn't live in Nashville. I lived in Goodlitzville, Tennessee. Oh, you did? And I was right outside of Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> Nashville. And I wasn't from Nashville, <laughs> see. <laughs> no, always lived in the dirty fucking dirty south. <laughs> the dirty south. Not that dirty south. No. Our dirty south was like, is literally dirty. Like, you couldn't <laughs> breathe because the dirt was so thick in the air that it fucking fucked you up. You know, you had dirt lung. You know what I mean? That's, that's looking like, like a Clint Eastwood movie yeah. when he's walking through the desert. <laughs> that's what it looked like. Imagine, um, you know, the scene in The Mummy. Oh, whenever God. whenever um, Arnold Vosloo is like raising the sand, he's yeah, like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's what fucking, sometimes it looks like. Is that what like. you saw every Sometimes. Day, that's what like... it would look like whenever the dust was so much what before we left. Vosloo? Oh shit! Yeah, you can see like him, the Scorpion King, <laughs> fucking a whole bunch of other people. <laughs> you even saw Evie. You know what I mean? It was and just for where your whole peripheral vision was nothing but a brown fucking sky. Fuck that! And then you'd have to shut your vents because if you didn't shut your vents, that shit coming in, you'd be like, oh, "Damn, that's fucked up." Then we moved here. <laughs> And I'm so fucking glad. Yeah, dude. I'll, I, I'll deal with 18 months of winter. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I don't know. I love growing up in Illinois, man. Like you had all the seasons. We did. You know what I back mean? Back then, yeah. But nothing like nothing like it is today. It's just yeah. windy and fucking bullshit. Home. Yeah. Ugh, hate it. But we lived in similar similar um, styles of. Uh, Landscapes, <laughs> similar landscapes. A lot of woods, a lot See, of we didn't cows, have that. a lot of corn. So it was a lot of green. That's what I'll say. Is Illinois is a lot of green in the spring, summer, fall. You know, as obviously, yeah, you know, it gets you know autumn. And Ours you, was flat you get color. <laughs> Everything is brown. And it's all over my fucking yard. Great. Now I got to go out and rake, bitch. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, I gotta upkeep my trees. I want to grow some cherry blossoms, man. Oh, do it, dude. I That's do. cool. I really want to get into growing more stuff. I think it, it kind of helped me find my zen. 
I'll grow it in a pot first. You gotta get a bonsai tree. Ooh, I thought about it, but then I thought about that a couple times. And then I was like, no, no. After Larusso took it over, <laughs> I don't think I need to. Well, that's no. fair. That's you know? fair. But a cherry blossom tree would be so fucking cool. That would be cool. Yeah, this year, this year my my apple tree is actually it's budding so much because I trimmed it. Mm-hmm. So this is the first year that we're really going to see where they're going to pop up. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. it's covered in flowers right now. So it's pretty cool. Everything opened up, which I was happy. But anyway, we're now we're talking about our lawns. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very good pixie stick. <laughs> I prefer the fun dip. I prefer fun dip. The cocaine dip. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um All right. yeah, anything else? No, I think that'll wrap us up for a quick cast. Yeah, for a two hour <laughs> quick cast. <laughs> all right, all right, dudes, later. Peace. I'm not going to tell them where to go. <laughs> Dropculture.com. They can get there themselves. Yeah. <laughs> They'll figure can, that there's shit a roadmap out. somewhere. <laughs> These are our least listened to ones, anyways. Yeah. Who listens to this shit? If you're listening to the quick cast, <laughs> if, you're, if you're past an hour and 45 minutes into a quick cast, man, <laughs> why don't you come visit for yeah, real? Because you just over. need to hang out. Yeah. We, we need to talk with you, too. That's right. Okay. I, I should stop at some point. <laughs>